Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looks so beautiful. Thank you. When when you're with someone, uh, moments show up where you realize you know they're the one. A few of those things over the years that I've noticed, uh, when she played Crash Bandicoot with us at the house, that's when I knew. Numerous times she's watched, you know, your garbage football team in the hot sun, Titans games. That's when I knew. And traveling across the country to sleep in a tent with you in the desert, I was like, all right, this could work out. Which, which brings me to the proposal. I knew he was going to propose, but I didn't exactly know, like, when and how. And he had already gone off to Arizona. I knew it was roughly this weekend, but I didn't know. And I, I needed to know if he did it. But I, the only way I could contact him was through text messaging, but I didn't want Brandy to see it. Dude, we are so, like, on the same plane. Like, I'm going to text him in code. He's going to get immediately what I say. So I texted him. I said, has the package been delivered? And he said, what? <laughs> so long story short, I found out that she said yes through Instagram. So that was good. But <laughs> I'll simply say this. You know, you two are some of the best humans that I've ever gotten to know, truly. You both are incredibly uh, kind and, and caring individuals, and you're frankly meant for each other. I've, I've never met two people who are more perfect for each other. Two people who are complete opposites, but somehow were made for one another. I've never actually believed in soulmates, um, but then these two people met. Ah! Oh, this is a nice one. as we gather to celebrate with Jordan and Brandy in one of the happiest days of their lives. They're both honored that you've taken the time to come here and share in this moment with them. The wedding ceremony isn't just a social gathering with a little religious touch. It's a big deal. Vows will be made today. Prayers will be offered and blessings will be given. The promises made here today will leave this place and be held up for a lifetime. All the time and preparation has led up to this point. And the day is finally here.
Randy, in nearly six years of you and me, we've been through so much already. Like when you told me you didn't like peanut butter, and when I told you I'd never read or seen Harry Potter, or Lord of the Rings, or Game of Thrones, or whatever nerdy series you're into. So as we begin our marriage, I commit these vows to you. I promise to always put you before my career, my own selfish pursuits, or anything that would keep my eyes, ears, or mind away from you. I promise to be a servant to you and help fulfill each other's needs in life. And through aches and groans and student loans, I'll always love you. Through success and wealth and kids and good health, I'll always love you. Through trials and changes and fights and old ages, I'll always love you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and through death and new life, as man and as wife, I'll always love you. Jordan, I'm so proud to be standing here with you, and not just because I love you and have chosen you to be my husband, but because I'm standing here with my best friend. Since we were seniors in high school, I knew you were someone I could trust. I remember we almost had a motto for our friendship, and that was no matter what, we're always going to be honest with each other. I remember the last time I spoke with you before you left for college. I remember watching you drive away, thinking I had blown it. I hadn't been honest, and I was losing not only my best friend, but someone I knew I could spend my life with. Now we stand here almost seven years from that moment, and I'm so happy. I'm marrying my best friend. I know that you and I will work through anything life throws us because we aren't only two people in love, but we are two friends that God brought together. I tell you when to do that. It's my honor and privilege to now declare you husband and wife. Ah. Jordan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>